Hello, everyone. So, uh, a friend of mine, I call him a cyber friend from Bosnia, he usually uh, send me on my Twitter profile some interesting links which may uh, interest me. And uh, his links are always very good. And, and uh, so, also this time he sent me a very interesting one. And uh, this link. Uh, makes me do something what I shouldn't, what, what I should do uh, before, but uh, I was lazy, you know, or I maybe even did it, but I forget where did I put all this status about the earthquakes. So this is the official web page from NOAA. This is the SOS NOAA.government data sets data sets page 643 now let me show you something i decide to show you this uh, this web page with the list of the earthquakes between 2001 and 2015 just for the reason that some idiot would not me accuse me that i pick up some uh, earthquake uh, by myself, which corresponding to my theory, and uh, this is it. So this is the 15-year period covered by this animation. 20 earthquakes had a magnitude of eight or larger. In this uh, presentation, I will show you one first rule, and that is that strong earthquakes above Earth eight, eight Richter scale are not always happen during the full moon and that this is not the rule uh, rather it happens on some other phases that i uh, ascend in my uh, in my theories in my presentations which are 21 11 uh, 33 uh, no moon i mean dark moon and etc etc so I will show you now the strongest earthquake which shake Earth in the last 15 years and I have to warn you that year 2016 it's not included here because I just used the list from NOAA and this is the official list. So I just uh, build this data and this video according to the list, official list of NOAA. Now let me show you this earthquakes. So this is the first one. June 23, 2001. 84 port near coast of Southern Perry. Now, as you can see, I got date here 24, not the 23. And uh, now I'm going to explain you why here is 24 and not 23. Well, you see, moon age of moon is 19 hours and 33 minutes that means that the beginning of the moon day let's say day call it a day because we call a 24 period hour uh, 24 hour period a day so we will call the moon uh, moon lunar 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 day we will call it a uh, lunar day okay it's 19 hours and 33 minutes old now, if we can go back 19 hours, we'll be in 23rd. So, in 23rd, it starts the lunar day, which is only two days old. Now, this is the 19th hour of the second day. So, this is, in effect, 23rd of June. And this is the lunar phase of 11% illumination. Okay? You will see later that this this is what it confuses me all the time because when I try to uh, research this lunar phases uh, during the earthquake, I stuck because I didn't pay attention that lunar day it's not same as the our day. Lunar day may start, for example, at three o'clock in the afternoon during our day. Okay, so it may uh, start exactly at midnight, uh, uh, at midnight, like uh, our day. So they are uh, synchronized sometimes. 
but mostly they are not. So let's go to the uh, for, forward, to the next one. So this is the September 25th, here it is, 2003, new moon in Virgo, dark moon, as you can see, full dark moon. Let's go forward. This is the also December 26, 2004, 9.1 Northern Sumatra Andaman Islands. Let's go 11% in the dark, moon face 11% in the dark. 23rd December 2004, 8.1 North Maki Island near the south of co uh, coast uh, New Zealand. This is the 11% in the dark moonlight phase. Here it is. 8.6 Northern Sumatra, Indonesia. In 2005, as you can see, the dates are different, 24th and 29th March, because the moon is old 16 hours. So if we go 16 hours back, we'll be in the March 28th. This is the 3rd May 2006, Tonga, 8.0 Richter skull, moon is visible 33%. So let's go forward. 21%, of course, as I usually said, this is the one of the lunar phase that is very known. November 15, November 15, 2006, 8.3 Kuril Islands, Russia. Let's go to the forward. Again, 33% uh, illumination. January 13, January 13, 2007, 8.1 east of Kuril Island, Russia. Let's go forward. April 1, 2007. Full moon, 8.1 Solomon Islands. Here again, August 16, 2007, which is August 15, 2007. Eight hours is the uh, moon, it's all, only eight hours, so we have another 16 hours forward, which goes to the 16 August, 8.0 near coast of Central Peru. September 12, 2007, dark moon, 8.4, South and Sumatra, Indonesia. September 29, 2009, 8.1, Samoa Island, 21% in the dark. Here it is. Let's go forward. February 27, 2010, 2010, 8.8 .8 offshore of central Chile, full moon, let's go forward, 33% illuminated moon, very known earthquake in Japan on March 11, 2011, 9.1 Richter skull, 33% illuminated moon, okay, let's go forward. Again, 33% moon in the dark, okay, this is 8.6 of the, of the west coast of northern Sumatra, Indonesia. There was another one the same day, but uh, a bit later. I didn't uh, uh, put it here because it's the, same, uh, it's the same area and same date and same phase of the moon. February 6, 2013. Moon at 21%, 8.0 west of Lata Solomon Islands. Let's go forward. May 24th, 8.3 Sea of Okhotsk, Och Russia. Full moon. This is a dark moon. 1st April 2014. 
8.2 North Chile. So as you can see, six hour, the moon is all only six hour. If we go uh, six hour back, the moon will be completely dark. And now we are in, uh, I think that this is the last one or just a moment. I think there must be one in uh, 2015, just a moment, let me see, or may uh, maybe it's still here. No, it's not. Just a moment, where is it? Uh, maybe I didn't. There must be one in uh, 2000. Uh, 2015 I think so yes it must be one in 2015 just a moment to see where is it also corresponded to the moon 11 12 13 14 whoop well let me see where is it just a moment Probably lost it somewhere. So let's see the large, you large XO because so the last one was must be here somewhere in the end. 2014, 2013. What the hell did I put this one? Maybe I, maybe I cleared. Well, okay, I can I can show you this alive. It's it's not a problem. So the the last one was in no yes uh, September 16, 2015. It was this is very easy to show. I will show you that live. You will show you how I do this. So September 16, uh, it was a, uh, 2015. Just a moment. This is the last one. I did this one, but I maybe I mistakenly uh, clear it. So as you can see, five hour is the uh, moon. It's uh, old five hour, and we come now. If we go forward, for example, eighteen hundred hours, we come to the eleven percent of illumination, and this is uh, let's say uh, nineteen just a moment more 20 here it is 11 percent of illumination september 16 8.3 center of chile and this is it so i uh, have to do this i have to put it in my r high because i don't know how do I miss this one? But okay, it's 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 not a problem. Uh, it's here. Oh, I already it's here. I, I just didn't. Okay, I will I will I will. I I know that I did it, but oh, let's say okay, cut this. Okay, so I put it here in the folder where it belongs paste so this is the one September 16 2015 open with photos and this is 11 percent as you can see September 16 2015 8.3 center thank you very much for your attention uh, if you want me to I can uh, explain this which phase of the moon are causes the earthquakes so this is very very uh, easy to uh, remember so I can open and uh, just a moment text document and I will show you now in that way if you are not familiar with my work so uh, let's, let's take uh, one the big one 
And uh, this is very important because in these days, when these lunar days are present, you can expect the earthquake. So you don't have to worry where the earthquake, when the earthquake will occur, because you can expect the earthquake in this day. So everybody is in danger in these lunar phases. So this is, uh, let's say, dark moon, full dark moon. That means when uh, moon is in the end of the in the end of the uh, lunar days so that, that means that 28th day or 29th day of the of the lunar 29th lunar day it's okay 29th lunar day dark moon this is the first phase so uh, next phase it's a 11 percent illumination next phase is 21 illumination next one is 33 percent illumination next one is 55 illumination and next one is uh, 67 illumination and next one is 79 of illumination and next one it's a uh, uh, 89 percent of illumination and then finally we have full moon now let me tell you that uh, 11 uh, 89 is equal to 11 percent as you can see this is the same so it's even in the dark even illuminated this one is 21 equal to this one is equal to 33 this one is equal to 45 and this one is equal to, okay i we already have it so this the uh, this is these are the lunar phases in which are all earthquakes, strong earthquakes are happening, okay? All earthquakes above six Richter scale or equal six Richter scale are happening on this lunar phases. So if you want to know when this lunar phases it's uh, present in the future, you can easily take any lunar program which can go in the in the in the you know have calendar you click here you choose the calendar you choose the year you and you just uh, traveling you have for example even here uh, the similar lunar just a moment i will show you for, uh, here it is find similar illumination and now i'll get all dates in the you see here 2017 31st 1st of march 1st 31st of march 2017 and 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 and, and more if you scroll down you have more here just a moment i don't know why this is not okay but this is it uh and then you can uh, also go to the start uh, day like uh, december 2000 17 16 and then you have this and you enter it and then you have all the dates when the strong earthquake will occur so as you can see in 2017 there is no much of this lunar phases in, in 11 and this is only the 11 okay so thank you very much and stay tuned